I'm pretty confident that everybody watching this channel recognizes these two circuit boards over here, or at least knows what's going on on them. These are a couple of different examples of the classic 555 timer plus 4017 decade counter uh, chase lights kind of thing. Um, I think, yeah, I built this one on, in a video a couple of years ago, probably. And this one is almost the same, same values and everything. Uh, I think there's a little bit different capacitor there. And it's using a surface mount uh, 4017 on a breadboard adapter, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, so I'm going to build another one of these kits, but that's not the core part of this video. Um, the one that I'm going to be building is this little surface mount one here. Uh, well, everything's surface mount except for the potentiometer and the LEDs are through hole. But I'm not going to be using those LEDs. I'm going to, by popular demand, use these little laser diodes. So this should be kind of fun. Um, I think I need 10 of them, and I think I've got 10 of them that aren't blown up, so that should be good. I've got these little modules here too, but I think the wire on ones are probably going to be better. But before we get into doing that, I just want to experiment using this one here on the breadboard um, and one of these laser diodes just to make sure that my plan's actually going to work. So let's pop that diode out of there. And replace it with one of these guys. Uh, yellow is the hot side. And blue is the ground side. So let's see what happens here. Hmm. That's not very bright. Oh, there it does come on. Just barely, though. So that's using the 1K resistor that's in the kit. So now I've got a 220 ohm resistor connected instead of the 1K that was in the kit. That's a little bit brighter. Hmm. Let's point that right at the camera lens. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just try it without a resistor then. I create a dot on my hand. Yeah. So that's actually visible now. I need something to shine these LEDs on, these lasers on, so that you guys can see them. Hmm. Does that work? Yeah, that makes it a little bit more visible, I think. Yeah, okay. I may just keep using those. Go and steal some more from the kids. So now I know that there's a few things that I have to change when I'm making this kit, including the resistors, which are surface mount resistors, of course, being a surface mount kit. Uh, and actually, it looks like I don't even need the resistor, really. Okay, I think I'm going to just build this kit in montage mode. Um... That's because you've seen me soldering this kit a few different times already. Oh, I'm just going to get busy and build this guy, and then we'll be back to play with it.
think that looks pretty reasonable, even if it was slightly out of focus for you. I hope it wasn't. And actually, what happens if I just hook it up here? Is that going to work? Oh, hey, look at that disco show. Actually, that just on its own is kind of cool. Are there any of them not lighting? Okay, those ones are working. That one, that one, that one is working. That one's working. That one's working. Now they're all working. They're not all the same brightness, but they're all working. I think I am going to try and find a little bit more artistic way of setting those up, though. But they're not all going at the same brightness. Okay, so this is something interesting that I just noted, that I discovered, is that some of these guys have uh, one or the other of their power leads is connected to the case. So if you touch the cases together, they short out and stop working. See that? And that's actually kind of a neat effect too, having them just shining along a surface there. Again, that guy shorted out because his neighbors are touching him. <sighs> I'm thinking that this might be a little bit better idea. It'll keep them separate, yet not be quite as much of a pain in the ass as wrapping Capton around each and every one of them. And I can also keep them parallel as well. Sort of parallel, anyways. They'll be pointing kind of in the same-ish direction. The other benefit of using the hot glue is it is somewhat removable. Well, that bundle of wires is kind of stiffening this up. Ow. Okay. There we go. It looks like they're all working. I'm going to shine that up towards the camera. I think I didn't quite get them in perfect order, but whatever. They are working, so that's good. That looks kind of, uh, sort of fancy in Hollywood, doesn't it? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was a fun little challenging little project, actually. I wasn't, uh, wasn't anticipating it to... Uh, having that many uh twists and turns but that was a uh that was a project that uh <laughs> that's been requested a few times in the comments actually ever since i got those uh those little lasers so there you go we have now have chase light lasers i wonder what happens if i uh hold this up above the bench and shoot it down doesn't show up so well on the cutting mat, does it? I think that looks all fancy. In a kind of rat's nest sort of a way. Which is, well, that's kind of my style, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Thanks for the suggestions slash nagging in the comments about uh, getting around to doing this. Oh, somebody's going to ask about this. It is Baltic Porter from Nonsuch Brewing. None such being a ship, which is in the museum across the street from where the brewery is. Kind of cool. Last place you'd expect to find a ship is inside a building in the middle of the prairies. But there you go. Um, so, what should I do with this thing? Uh, should I build it into a more permanent case? Should I uh, figure out how to attach some of these jewels to it so that they... They light up constantly. Don't know whether that would... Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. That's kind of cool. How does that look from the front? I just keep trying to end this video and then I come up with another idea. It actually looks better from the back. Oh, well, there we go. Anyway, um, that's enough of that goofing around. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Comments, questions down below in the description as usual. I will talk to you later.